when I buy a CD like this, Future of the Left, very good, very, very good Welsh proto-punk. When I get something like this, I rip it to my hard drive, and if I want to play it in my lounge room, I use Rune. But if I want to listen to it outside of the house, I obviously use something like Spotify or Tidal or Cobas, and I use offline content. So I basically offline the album to my phone before I leave the house. But what happens if that CD, like this denim, back in denim, what happens if the CD is not on streaming services? I mean, yeah, I can rip this to my Rune server, listen to it at home, but what do I do when I go out of the house? I mean, I can't easily listen to this, the, the EP, which has got some very sort of early era B-sides on it. Can't listen to this outside of the house because it's not on Spotify, it's not on Kobo's and it's not on Tidal. Neither is this David Bowie Live at the BBC album, which came as a bonus CD with the Bowie at the Beeb. Two CD, this was the third CD. This is not on streaming services as far as I can tell. So I can't listen to this outside of the house so easily. Also, this, Prome's NM5D album, Electronica, Pseudo Live. Again, I can play this at home, but it's locked onto my Rune server. And if I want to listen to it outside of the house, I have to fumble with micro SD cards or use something like Portal to drag and drop files. And it's just a fiddly mess. But it isn't even albums that are not available on streaming services per se, even something like this. And this is Tom Waits' Real Gone. Now, there was a, a remastered version of this issued two years ago, but Tom Waits, in his infinite wisdom, decided to remix it as well. So that remixed, remastered version is on Spotify title Cobas, but this one isn't on anymore. And I prefer this one. This, this for me is the definitive version of this album. And if I want to listen to this at home, I can, but out of the house, it's not on Tidal, it's not on Spotify, it's not on Cobas or any other streaming service. So what do I do? In a previous video, I showed you how I connect to a Squeezebox server using Orange Squeeze the app and a VPN. So basically VPNing into my network and then offlining the album using Orange Squeeze. Now that, even, even that is a little bit fiddly. It's a bit nerdy. It's not for everybody. What I want is an app that kind of behaves like Spotify or Tidal or Cobas where I just fire up the app, search for the album that I want, click offline or download. I just want to pull up an app and just go. Super simple. So what I've done is I've put away my Rune Nucleus. I've put my Rune install on a MacBook Air, an old one, connected the hard drive of music so it scans that. But then I've also installed Plex on that same MacBook and it scans the same hard drive. So what that means now is that on my MacBook Air, I have a hard drive full of tunes connected to it, and I'm running Rune across the top of it and Plex across the top of it. Two server apps, they run just fine. Now, many people will know Plex as sort of a multimedia streaming environment that also encompasses video. And I'm not gonna talk about video at all today. In fact, I'm just focused on how I can stream my music collection out of the house, how I can get albums like this for when I'm out and about in the street. So I know that Plex is a very, very big app with lots of different use cases. I'm just gonna be talking about one today. So I can use an app like the Plex app. Now this is called Plex. And I know that sounds really weird to say it's called Plex, but you'll see why in a moment. Now with this, I can stream music from my Plex server. Remember that's the same computer that's running my Rune server and we can integrate Tidal inside Plex, but for that we need something called a Plex Pass, and that costs money. So I think it's five bucks a month, 40 bucks for the year, and about 120 for a lifetime subscription. 
Now the Plex Pass is important, not just for tidal integration, because it also allows us to use another app called Plex Amp. See, we've got Plex and Plex Amp. Now Plex Amp is a new app from the people who, who code Plex, and it's just dedicated to music, and it runs on Android and iOS. <laughs> This is the ad segment of the video. This video is brought to you by NAD Electronics, makers of the Masters M33 Blue OS streaming DAC amplifier. It does everything from high-res streaming to DRAC room correction, all with the clarity and power of the Purify Eigentact amplification technology. Find out more at nadelectronics.com and visit your local NAD dealer for a demo. Now, back to the video. Now the beauty of PlexAmp is that I can stream to my phone from my Plex server at home or if I'm out of the house. So this will remotely dial into my Plex server on my home network without any VPN. So you don't need any technical knowledge at all. That remote access is enabled by default, I believe. So it's just a matter of installing the Plex server on a computer, putting PlexAmp on your phone and then you're up and running. And to save my mobile's bandwidth and data allowance when I'm out of the house, PlexAmp gives us a multitude of transcoding options so that we're not always streaming FLAC because the files on my music server, on my Plex server, are all in FLAC. And I might not want to stream endlessly FLAC files for an entire month because I'll eat up my 15 gigabyte data allowance pretty quickly. So the important thing to know is that I've got this ripped to my hard drive and Plex has it indexed as part of its library. I've got this ripped to my hard drive and Plex has it indexed. And this, and this, and none of them are on streaming services. This one is, but that's also ripped to FLAC, part of my Plex library. So is this. So I can access all of my Plex library using PlexAmp. But not only that, PlexAmp allows me to offline content. So if I don't want to be streaming flack out in the street, what I can do is before I go out when I'm at home, I can just pull up my phone, search for a bunch of albums and offline them. And so they will download to my phone as flack because I've told it to do flack for downloads. And then you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of albums in my downloads folder. And none of these are available on streaming services, yet I can now walk out of my house and go, go and have a cup of coffee and listen to these whilst out in the street. So basically, PlexAmp allows me to turn my orange hard drive of tunes into my own private streaming service. So here I'm playing LSG's Collected Works. It's a techno album, it's all seamlessly mixed together. That means all the tracks flow into one another. And with PlexAmp, it's completely gapless. And it's gapless no matter whether I'm playing in my house, streaming over Wi-Fi, or if I've offlined this to my phone and I'm playing, or if I'm streaming outside of the house from the server in the house. It is gapless throughout. Some people will want to know about high-res audio. High-res audio is not a major priority for me, but I will address the question. Because this PlexAmp, in this case, is running on an Android phone, the audio output travels through the Android mixer, and that means, as, we, as we've seen in videos before, the Android operating system outputs everything at kilohertz, I think it is. An iPhone 
restricts everything to 1644 or 1648. So this isn't a situation where high res is possible, really. But for me, when I'm out in the street, when I'm out and about, when I'm drinking coffee, when I'm shopping, it's more important that I have access to the music that I want than it is to be able to play it in high res out in the street, because I think the benefits of high res are completely eroded by traffic noise and street noise. Um, and as I've said many times before, red book flack is good enough. You know, it's kind of driven me a little bit crazy the last four, five, maybe, no, maybe longer, maybe 10 years. I've wanted to listen to albums by Goodbye Mr. McKenzie out in the street. And I've pulled up Spotify and there's only one live album there. I've gone to Tidal, there's only one live album. And usually I want to listen to albums like Hammer and Tongs and Good Deeds and Dirty Rags, and they're not there. And what Plexamp allows me to do is stream them out in the street, either offline to my phone first or stream direct when I'm outside. It's a turnkey solution, no VPN worries, so that you can listen to the music you want to listen to, not what Spotify or Tidal or Cobas dictates to you when you're out and about. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I've waited a long time for this, and I think really this is going to transform the way I listen to music when I'm not at home. Now, this is a very specific use case for Plex. As I've said before, I am not a Plex pert. Please understand that it's really just about streaming music out in the street. That's what this video is about. So if you've got what about questions, please ask them in the comment section below, but please direct them at everybody else because I know there are many, many more knowledgeable Plex users out there than me. If you like this video, please give us a like down below. If you like my attitude towards high res audio, or rather <laughs> that I think the Red Book is plenty good enough, especially when it's the music that matters more than the, the sample rate and the bit depth, then please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and special thanks today goes out to Alex on my Patreon, who really encouraged me to make this video and provided me with a Plex Pass so that I could do it. Big thanks to him. I'll just keep going. I might pause and then look away, right? Yep, you're still rolling, aren't you? Okay, okay. Why am I saying um so much? No, oh God, John, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Solid, solid format. Why am I saying solid, solid format? <laughs> it's good enough. Um, and as a, and I.